It's halftime again, and here we are back in the Arkansas PBS studios for the last game of the day, game number four. I'm Ed Leon. And I'm Julie Thomas. Don't go anywhere because we've got some cool stuff in store for you before we get you back to Hot Springs. Yes, indeed. You know, we've seen a lot of basketball today, and in between, we've been able to share with you just a little bit about what we offer here at Arkansas PBS when we aren't working on sports. That's right. We've seen everything from small town blacksmithing to hip hop students making a difference in the Arkansas Delta. And that is just a little bit of what we do here. It is and there is so much more we'd like to share with you like this clip from our educational programming for Arkansas students. The summer learning series Rise and Shine. It's time to rise and shine. The thing that's really cool about science is whether you're looking into the microscopic universe or into the stellar universe, it's all connected. Science everything kills, math and art color wills. Can you make a blender sound? Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Out pops my B and L, which makes a bl. Can you say that sound? Bl. 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 Yeah, I love it. It's a great day. Good morning, my dear, sweet, beautiful, brilliant students of Arkansas. Well, this is Isla. Isla is a green wing macaw. So these feathers help her blend into the rainforest where she lives, and it also helps her fly. Hey, everybody, it's that time again. It's math time. One of my favorite things to do as a kindergarten teacher is to read books to my students. And I brought one of my favorite books with me today to read to you guys. This is called a bubble level. And when you get the picture hung just perfectly, that bubble will settle in right here in the middle. Tristan's gonna help us out. Tristan, do you like looking at the night sky? I love it. Rise and Shine is such an impactful summer program and we're always looking for a great way to combat learning loss over the summer months and this really helps our kids. It does and we're happy to announce that Rise and Shine will be back this summer with all new content so keep an eye out for that. Right, look for it this summer wherever you like to watch on the PBS video app, on our website or on our YouTube channel and of course the way you're watching right now. Another project we're really excited about is Arkansas Memories. This is a collaboration with the Pryor Center for Arkansas Oral and Visual History that brings to life important moments and people in Arkansas. I celebrated my fifth birthday and it was a few weeks after that the uh, soldiers came. We saw two soldiers marching up our driveway and literally at gunpoint we were ordered out of our home. And so you end up in a place called Roar. R-O-H-W-E-R, Arkansas, locked up. And the amazing thing is thousands of young Japanese American men and women went from behind those barbed wire fences, leaving their family in imprisonment to fight for this country. Those that perished on those bloody battlefields and had their coffins covered with the American flag, those flags were brought back to their wives or their parents still behind American barbed wire fences. Those incredible, crazy young men who fought and died for this country, they were the greatest generation. They made my America possible. Such powerful stuff and such a deep archive there at the Pryor Center, so many stories. It really is deep, uh, from sports figures to music, art and politics. Impressive figures throughout Arkansas history are represented there, and we can't wait to share those with you. That's true, but you know, to do that, we need your help. We're a partnership here, and we can't share these stories without you. We'd love for you to be part of what we're doing, so sign up and get exclusive sneak peeks at what's headed your way, and share your thoughts on what you'd like to see more of. Yes, please do that. Add your voice to the conversation. Let's go to Marge Bentley with the Arkansas PBS Foundation. She's gonna let you know how to do just that. Marge? Thanks, Ed. I know we're short on time, so real quick. All we're asking is that you take a moment and go to our website, myarpbs.org slash sign up. Give us your email address and join the conversation. And if you love what you're watching, text SPORTS to 501-491-0444 and donate just $10 to help us bring you many, many more Arkansas stories. Ed, Julie, Thanks, Marge. Ed, do we have time to head to outer space? Only if we do it at warp speed. 
Last fall, Arkansas PBS helped students at the Nettleton Steam Intermediate School do a live uplink, think about that, with NASA, with the astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Here's a clip from that event to the stars and back, Arkansas students on a mission with NASA. Hello, my name is Carter Massey. I'm Moy Perez, Allison Moss, and I'm a fourth grader. I can tell you are a scientist in the making. <laughs> that is a great question. You are representing every young person in Arkansas who loves exploration. I can't wait to see what you'll discover. That was a first for Arkansas and a once in a lifetime opportunity for those kids. Yeah, how cool is that? I hope y'all watch it. It's just another example of the value and service that we offer here at Arkansas PBS. And we know you love our sports broadcast, but we have so much more to offer. Go to our website and take a look. You're gonna love what you find. That's gonna do it for the halftime crew, for Julie, Marge, and all the production team here at Arkansas PBS. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Now, let's get you back to Hot Springs for more championship action on your home for the Arkansas Basketball State Finals, Arkansas PBS.